Welcome everyone once again, Ozquill here, back with the Room 3. Now we will continue to learn more about this mysterious null element. Maybe we'll see some more notes from A.S., but let's go ahead and jump right in. I hear a train. Looks like we are, of course we got the tutorial. Looks like we are on a train. Beautiful countryside though. Double tap the journal. I think we've seen that symbol before. July 5th, AS is gone. His entire house is gone. Oh, so that was his house we were in at the end of the last game. Yeah, I was still reading that. Oh. Who the heck are you? What? And just like that, with um, room-like fashion, we are into it. Small key. I have a key, but there's no keyhole on this box. The one surface looks strange. I should get the eyepiece for my suitcase. Before I do that, I want to finish reading this. <sighs> Slide the latches. My suitcase has some modifications. I require a degree of secrecy. Okay, now can I finish reading this? His entire house is gone. I dare not recount all that I saw. I would, ra I would rather that I was insane. But that, those infernal boxes. I would rather that I was insane and that those infernal boxes were but a figment of my fevered mind. I should never have ignored you. If only I had come sooner. If only I had not come at all. July 17th. I have woken from, another, from the nightmare, but I am forever haunted by it. I submerge myself in my work as if drown, to drown the memories, but it is no use. The null calls to me in my sleep and seizes any unoccupied moment to fill my thoughts unbidden. I am marked. July 19th. I have continued to petition the Royal Institute. There is something about their denials that does not sit with me. Their insistence is too shrill and determined to cover something as innocent as ignorance. July 21st. A breakthrough. The Royal Institute rebuffed me once more. An undersecretary with a drawn look slid a packet into my jacket pocket as they passed. They refused to meet my eyes as they hurried away. The packet included a torn page from a map off of the south coast with an island circled. I leave on the first train. I can't quite get a close enough look to see what those are saying. It looks like... Hmm. The end await. The end of everything. The doorway awaits. And that looks like it's just blank. Okay, let's grab the lens now. An eyepiece. Sometimes the eyepiece can be used to see things that are otherwise hidden. Interesting. I should use my eyepiece to examine that curious box.
Okay, then. A triangular pyramid. Ellipse is what it says down there. Okay, then. What, what happened? Where am I? What? Okay, whoever that was has truly found out how to control this stuff because they were using a doorway and weren't freaking out. Hmm. You were warned not to look for me, but you would not listen, and it has become necessary for me to find you. Welcome to Greyholm, the seat of my ancestors. Seldom few visitors have walked these halls, fewer still have walked free of them. In the past, I have drawn my subjects from the greatest minds of history. Each played their part, but none outlived it. The knoll wraps its bonds around all, all except you. It was a mistake to try and keep you away. I see now that I have great need of you. If you can prove yourself worthy, your first task is to find something that will aid you in your trials ahead. Find it or never leave this room, and I will have gone to great effort in vain. The Craftsman. Interesting. Okay, so let's try the lens. The power of flight. The power of flight, the well of knowledge. Oh. Well, considering the options I have here, a locket, an hourglass, glasses. The only thing that comes to mind is the feather as a power of flight. So I would say that well of knowledge, inkwell, writing, that makes sense. My face is silent without my hands. I'm pretty sure I've heard this one before. And it's a clock. The poor have me... The rich need me. Well, the rich definitely have those. A cup? The poor need me. The rich have me. me. No. Oh. Nothing. The poor have nothing, the rich need nothing. It's quite painful to watch you blunder to and fro, half blinded by those crude lenses you have stumbled upon. Allow me to pry the scales from your eyes. These are the instruments of a craftsman. They will allow you to see the universe as it truly is, and reach into the unseen infinity of space that surrounds us. An ornate box. There's some sort of mechanism keeping the box closed. I should take a closer look. A lens. That's quite the looking... There's something strange on this door. We are shrinking down. This is actually more true to how an actual key in a lock works. 
you have two parts of the tumbler, the lower part and the upper part. You have to get them to line up so that way it does that. Normally you don't do that by rotating something, normally it's the actual pins on the key. That is quite the locking mechanism. Okay then, there's lots of stuff around this room. Let's check out the center of it though. The key to the null will be forged here. I have given you the first piece. The triangular pyramid? For safety, the remaining four are held separately. Retrieve them and bring them to this font. Only then can you fulfill your destiny, the craftsman. Okay, then. You're moving on your own. You're... What? Okay, because that's a thing. And now we get an emblem out of the black sludge. Well, it looks like there's emblems over here. This looks like a family tree. Oh, okay, I think think I see what's going on. That, that, okay, so these two at the top here, the red with the yellow and the blue with the two stars combined to form that one. This one needs a cricket. Nope, that cricket's the wrong direction. That would work. Apparently that's correct. So the other side, this one needs a rat on it and a blue and red diamond pattern like that. This one, I guess that would work. Apparently so. Okay then, where does this go? Uh, st what is this place? I have to find a way out. Um, well, desks always have drawers. And there's actually a note here. As you have discovered on your little adventures contained within the Knoll, is the power to transfer matter across space and time. I have watched you cross leagues and centuries, just as some lesser individual might cross a street. But what of light years? What of eons? You have barely begun to tap its potential. I have charted a world not unlike our own, yet incredibly distant. It is the source of the Null. I have measured it, even seen it, but I cannot reach it. Not without your help. But first I must teach you how, and you must prove your cap prove capable of learning. The craftsman. Alrighty then, let's see. Locked. Locked. Um, apparently locked, can't move anything, can't move anything, okay. Um, oh, so I have to make a circuit here, positive to negative. That doesn't work, positive to negative, positive to negative. Um, 
Hmm? Wait, I'm confused. That one has to go there. Oh, positive to negative. There we go. Flip. A tower. I take it we flip the switches. And hit the button. What are we doing here? Oh, we're matching the wave. Strange. We are here now. And you know what? I know this video has been shorter than most, but we are actually going to call it here because I may not have said this before, but I actually have played through this game. And these chapters take a while. So I am going to do this area in the next video. Make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment if you are enjoying this series. If you would like me to show where I'm tapping on the videos, please make sure to let me know. Otherwise, I will see you all next time as we come back to the room three. See you all then. Bye.